Hi Scorpio, welcome to the channel. Scorpio, this is going to be a reading for the new moon eclipse. Um, I, I don't believe I'm behind. I believe I'm in perfect divine order and perfect divine timing. I did mean to do your reading a few days ago, but divine timing didn't call for it. So I'm doing it now. Scorpio, your entire life is subject to change. This is a major purge, a major release of um, energy. A major letting go of things that are no longer serving you. A change is set in motion involving um, your home, your family, property, real estate, and a connection with someone else or a contract involving those themes. Um, focus on what is important. Holding on too tightly can sabotage this change that is trying to bring you towards your new beginning. Purge to make space for the new. Um, what do you need to let go of? What do you need to uh, release so that you can feel good, Scorpio? So I am still going to do the Scorpio season reading, so look out for that, as well as your Scorpio birthday reading. <laughs> and um, I've been getting requests to continue on with the series um, of uh, Scorpios that are dealing with an Aquarius or have a divine connection with an Aquarius. So look out for that. Um, I am in the process of packing and balancing out doing personal readings with my clients one-on-one -on -one, as well as my own meditations and, uh, and, and, and the channel as well. So thank you guys for your patience for this reading. Um, things are definitely changing for all of us, uh, including me. I am going to start off with um, the Arch my new Archangel Michael deck. I forgot to use it in the last reading I did. But it's the first deck I was just um, guided to. So, Scorpio, this reading is, um, you take, wow, we have here split the deck. This jumped uh, yesterday for the Aquarius Collective. It's saying for you not to give up on love, Scorpio. Um, a relationship you cherish can be healed. This is Archangel Michael saying this. Allow me to clear, clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. Okay, so that's a very important message for some of you guys. Um, you could be connecting. This could be talking about somebody that you have a past life connection with, a twin flame or high level soulmate connection that you could be in separation with at this time. Um, Scorpio, remember to take what resonate and leave the rest for others. Okay, um, you know, cross watchers, if you're watching for your Scorpio, this I could be in your energy and speaking directly to you. So feel free to reverse the roles. Thank you guys for your love, for your support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you guys for purchasing decks and for um, donations. If you click on the upside down arrow, you would come across my information to reach out to me to schedule your own personal healing, your personal session, okay? Um, all right, Archangel Michael, let me connect with your energy and let's just get started. If you fast forward this, you will miss the part that I say that this is a general reading. So, um, you know... It's impossible for me to re connect with every single Scorpio in the world. So if the message is confusing to you, maybe it hasn't manifested yet, it's still predicted to happen, um, or the message is for somebody else, okay? So check back again next time. But this is going to be for placements that are um, important placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Jupiter, and whatever other pl placements you find that's important to you, okay? All right, <clears throat> let's get started. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Okay, Archangel Michael, what is the message here that you have with this uh, Scorpio Collective for the new moon solar eclipse in Scorpio? Trust your angels at this time. 
let go of the expectations of the attachment or how things and your dreams will come true. Trust that heaven has the perfect plan for you. Okay, beautiful. Trust your angels. So if you guys are not yet um, devoted to, uh, you know, devote yourself to spirit, you know, or surrender into spirit into your angels, it's important that you ask for help. Um, you have free will, so they can't step in to help you until you do. This is Archangel Michael saying to please trust, you know, your spiritual team at this time. They're watching over you. They're guiding you and, um, and surrender your expectations over to them. Okay. What else, Archangel Michael? Because it's, it's almost over. Your current challenges. Wow, this is nice. Your current challenges will soon be resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile. So whatever challenges you're experiencing, it's very clear here, Archangel, Archangel um, Michael is saying your challenges, is, it's almost over, Scorpio, it's, you're, you're at the finish line, you're almost there, okay? And then we have open your heart, open your heart, no one is perfect, stop judging yourself and others and let love heal this situation. So releasing any kind, forgiving yourself, releasing any kind of self-judgment and criticism that you have, um, towards yourself or others Scorpio and open your heart to unconditional love I feel like you guys are doing that this is number 22 we also have number seven and number nine here so um Scorpio you're being asked here to um align with the energy of unconditional love and compassion so you could benefit from doing heart chakra um, meditations or for or the Ho'oponopono prayer I posted a link to that in the description box below at the bottom of the deck you have your vibration is rising give me one more Archangel Michael make a decision make a decision are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation Accept divine guidance pointing you towards your own joy you deserve it so you're in the process of making a major decision at the bottom of the deck we have um, pray uh, prayer Pray from the heart. Prayer can really move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. So you guys could be going through some, you know, uh, some challenges at this time. It could be because you're closing out a major cycle in your life. That's not easy, right? Um, and um, completing some kind of karmic cycle. And you're being asked right now to make a very important decision here. Okay, there's a justice scales here and the heart is on one. End. So, you know what they say when your heart is, is, is as light as a feather, light as a feather, your heart is li light. Make, make your heart be light as a feather at this time. Okay, make your this heart based decisions for that. We got to, you know, uh, maybe do the uh, 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 removal of a love block guided, uh, you know, uh, there's binaural beats for that. Um, there's one that I listen to. It's 11, 11 minute song. That's really nice. So, um, it looks to me like your prayer is being heard to ask for help here. Hang in there. It's almost over. Uh, let's see what else I'm going to, I'm going to use, I'm going to use here the, the, what is it? Beautiful creatures deck. There's just a lot of people, um, right now that's getting really triggered over every little thing. They, they, they are perceiving um what is it sometimes you perceive things as you are not as it really is so if there's any kind of triggers that's coming up for you it is, it is a message for you to dive deeper and to you know um into your heart into your psyche into your subconscious to see what wounding still needs to be healed that tri that trigger is just a messenger alerting you that there's still something that needs your your attention to be healed okay um okay spirit what is the main energy here for scorpio for this um maybe the decision is to open up your heart here you know, to practice compassion for yourself and others, to let someone in or to let love in, to open up to love, it's looking like. Um, what is the main energy here that this new moon solar eclipse is bringing in for Scorpio? What is the main energy here, spirit, that this new moon solar, solar eclipse is bringing in for the Scorpio collective? Five of swords, defeat. So this is why you're being asked to trust your angels. The five of swords, 
oh here's queen of cups intuition there there you are the five of swords is this energy of control yes um it can be you know feeling defeated in a situation um it is five is a number of change because it's time for a change so um if you're not feeling good in your situation not feeling passion not feeling inspired not feeling motivated not feeling happy or fulfilled then that means it's time for a change um today i was meditating and it came to me in meditation that if you have to force something if if you have to you know if something is is a front door is having a hard time opening for you and you know and you have to force a situation the situation is not for you the five of swords could be negative thinking right it could be con having a lot of control not surrendering to something okay um needing to walk away from everything that uh Choosing your battles wisely, okay? If you're dealing with people in your environment and, and they are, you know, hostile and volatile and arrogant and cocky and egoic and, you know, controlling, um, then it's, it's definitely it's time to walk away, okay? And to take your power back, cut the cords and, and, and leave it behind, okay? This, this Five of Swords is not a very, you know, high vibrational energy, um, it is an energy of, of conflict and defeat. Could be inner or outer. Okay, could be inner and manifesting externally to you as well. You got to listen to your intuition at this time, um, Scorpio. You do have clarity coming in the sun, and um, there's the Knight of Pentacles. So there is an, a very slow moving offer coming towards the Queen of Cups here. This uh, this this is somebody that's been resisting change and procrastinating for quite a while here with the five of swords and it's like this this moon is is alerting you and bringing up the fact that um it is really time for you to make a decision here from your heart not from your ego five of swords okay um it's, it's time to take your power back and get out of feeling defeated and stand up for what you believe stand up for yourself five of swords right uh, uh not don't back down to what you feel and believe is right for you according to what your heart and soul wants okay this can be arrogance cocky controlling petty uh spiteful manipulative energy this five of swords um so this could be you or somebody in your energy or um, this could be a past energy as well but this is what the the new moon is bringing up that it is time for a change five represents change what else is this um, new moon solar eclipse in scorpio okay we have here the ace of swords beautiful and another five five of wands so conflict again rivalry competition inner and out. looks to me like you're going to be break it this is interesting looks to me like you're going to be breaking free from this energy uh very soon here okay it's in your the palm of your hands here to take matters into your own hands to take control that we it's interesting that we have the five of swords and the ace of swords the five of wands and the ace of wands here so you have two aces which is and then under the deck is the ten of swords and the three of swords wow and judgment so there's an opportunity here to rise from this okay um so there's a major ending here you've been cracked open it's happening for you not to you you have two brand new beginnings uh, a, a, a passionate new beginning here inspiration idea inspiration creativity a spark renewal this is that phoenix rising with the ace of wands a call to action Okay, it's time for action. This is solar plexus energy and the ace of swords is heart chakra and upper chakras energy. You have the intellect and the wisdom here. You're gaining a lot of clarity regarding your situation. And um, and it's like you're dropping the, the, the five swords and the five of wands and you're grabbing that one sword and that one wand, right? And you're um, making this decision here to um, surrender. It really is about surrender. There's a lot of resistance to change and a lot of fighting here, internal and external, okay? But it looks to me like with if um, with if the ace is following this, that you are in the process, Scorpio, of making a decision. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? So it's looking to me like you grabbing this ace is you prioritizing yourself. The five of wands is you trying to make things work with people in your life, with others, trying to, uh, again, again, 
these, this is a challenging energy, the fives, right? The two fives breaks down to a 10 here, and here's a 10 of swords. It's over. It's almost over. The universe is trying to help you. They're saying, pray from the heart. Surrender to prayer. Trust your angels at this time. And all you have to do is just open your heart here and, and release judgment on yourself and others. I'm actually going to pull from this deck because I'm curious. Okay, so, okay. Surrender denial. I split the deck. Uh, accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Again, like I said earlier, I said, you know, um, the key here is to accept things as they are, not how you would like it to be, <laughs> you know, uh, see it as it is. Um, and, and when you do that, things will automatically transform for you. Okay. Um, what does Scorpio need to surrender to here? Surrender to what is exactly. I just said that spirit come through. <laughs> wow. 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 Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. I just said that. It's so crazy because I just had a situation with my Scorpio son. He's about to be 18 on, on the 9th. Um, there is something that he would like, that he's had been having a struggle with, that he would like to change. Uh, however, it's not something that, it's beyond his control at this point. And, you know, and I told him, I said, it's time for you to accept. It's, I said this to him the other day, uh, yesterday. It, it's time to accept what is. And when you do, things are going to start to really change. Okay. Compassionately accept, accepting everything as it is. Uh, it, it also, it helps to accept the past as well and, and let it go because you have a new beginning. Then you have two aces here, passionate new beginning and, um, and a new beginning that's, that, that stems from the truth here with the ace of swords. The ace of swords is clarity. It's communication. It's an epiphany, a breakthrough, a ha moment. Okay, it is truth, truth. You're making a decision from your truth, living in your truth, being in your truth here, okay? Surrender to prayer again. So it's time to devote yourself stronger to prayer here, right? Um, give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. Pray from the heart. Pray from the heart. Surrender to prayer. Uh, connect with your angels, right? Call them in. Um, if you don't do that, whoever it is that you, the higher power, the most high, the universe, whoever you pray to. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire, ace of wands, in your belly here, okay? Uh, feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. And then we have surrender your fear of change. Yeah, there, like I said, there's been a resistance here to change. And that changes your thing, right? You are the, the sign of change, of transformation. You are, you know, that phoenix rising, death and rebirth. So, you know, the, the, the shedding of the skin, okay? Change is the only thing that is constant. So... Uh, allow things to unfold. Trust your angels here. Like, like spirit said, follow your intuition. Um, follow your intuition. Very strong message of you needing to align more stronger with spirit and the angels here. Oh, let me read this. The universe is remind. Yeah. Follow your intuition. Look at that. Listen to your intuition. Surrender to your intuition. If it's one thing to listen to it. It's another to follow it. If we're not following and taking the steps that we're guided to take to make whatever effort that we're being asked to make a call to action here, then that's why you're uncomfortable because you're not, you know, on the right path, going in the right direction. If you're resisting and holding back from doing what your intuition is guiding you to do. So, you know, it, it, it starts, it starts to take you out of balance and take you out of alignment and you start to feel it's, it's harder to come out of anxiety. It's harder to come out of depression when you're not, um, when you're not following your intuition, which means taking action to co-create with the universe. The universe is trying to help you, right? 
um, the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you are fearing aging or death. Repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. So, again, um, you know, sometimes when we are transitioning ten of swords, putting an end, a painful ending here from one situation and, and, and making a decision to, to start a new judgment, right? There's also six of cups here, memories of the past, okay? Memories of the past, the past life, soulmate, um, wanting to return to that, it's looking like with the judgment, wanting a second chance, right? It's time to choose that and take those action steps uh, towards it, okay? Um, sometimes when we're coming out of one cycle or one chapter and an ending of something uh, of something we have attached ourselves to or we're in a comfort zone, it can feel scary, right? Like, um, for example, I'm moving. I've been where I am for seven, eight years, very long time. I've become very comfortable here, but now it's time for me to move on and move forward with my life. And yeah, this transition can, can be, it's, I'm going into the unknown into a fresh start for me and this decision is you know it's it's it is a little scary right and and i and i do put in a lot of effort into prayer into connecting with my angels into trusting them to asking for help into surrendering to what is um and and just flowing like water um allowing everything to unfold uh, you know, as it should in perfect divine order and perfect divine timing. When you have patience, that is the energy of align of, of of alignment and balance. Okay, all right. So let's see here. What is this about here? So it looks to me like you, you might you might start surrendering soon. You're gonna have um, the Ace of Swords also represents a victory and a success, a uh, triumph. Okay, so. Whatever this communication here that you're battling, whatever inner struggle, push and pull, five of wands, whatever inner struggle that this is, whatever new beginning, whatever this passion and new beginning, focusing on the things and the, the get out, getting out of your head, which I feel like this, this five of wands, I feel, and five of, five of wands, five of swords, I feel it started within you in your head first. And it started to manifest externally to you because your thoughts create your reality. So it's important for you to alchemize this energy and shift out of any negative thinking. Uh, five of Swords, you know, um, it's, it's that energy of fighting, fighting it, resisting, doing everything you can to resist it. But it looks to me like you're going to get some kind of breakthrough, revelation, clarity coming in from the divine, especially if, you, if you've if you been praying and you have asked your angels for help and you have opened up your heart to receive. Her palms are up here, right? It's almost it's almost time here. We're talking about divine timing for something to be almost over in your life. Um, the current challenges that you're facing will soon be resolved and you'll be able to look Look to the future with a smile. You have a bright future. You have nothing to worry about. Um, it's, it's important that you practice self-care right now and prioritize yourself. Okay? Um, what makes you happy? What makes you feel passion? What makes you feel fulfilled here? Okay? And, and, and then following that and surrendering to that. Uh, instead of resisting it because of judgment on yourself, self-criticism, and fear. Spirit, clarify here the Five of Swords. Defeat for us. Uh, this is the Haunted House deck, by the way. Um, it is my uh, Halloween, right? Halloween. Um, I'm, in the, I'm in the spirit of Halloween season and using the, the, the decks for it. Spirit, clarify here the Five of Swords. We have the King of Cups. So, it, yeah. So, it's like there is this kind of struggle here. And strength. Yeah, needing to have courage. He's this 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 King of Cups, that's Scorpio energy that she was feeling a little defeated. You need to have the courage, be brave here to go ahead and, and and pick up the sword, Knight of Swords, and take action towards whatever it is that do you have what it takes, the inner and outer strength to take action here towards communicating your truth to somebody. Okay, if that's the case. Um Interesting. So King of Cups, uh, he's here sitting here dressed as an angel. He is an angel, an earth angel. Um, this King of Cups is is sensitive. It's, it's, it's you, Scorpio. It's your, it, this is your card. It's um, This King of Swords is compassionate 
empathetic, sensitive, psychic, intuitive, creative, you know, uh, has a lot of emotion that's uh, deep and, and keeps it stored inside. Um, and, and it creates a lot of in imbalances. Um, I just posted something about emo emotional, emotional avoidance on, on Instagram. Okay. How, um, how people are practice or I forgot what the post said, something about, um, people are practicing emotional avoidance and calling it a positive mindset. So it's like needing to face this, 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 this five of swords needing to, you know, um, whatever this is for you, this could be mental negative thoughts. That's making somebody feel defeated here, or this could actually be, you know, um, an action of the past that keeps the th thoughts or uh, swords or thoughts that keeps going around and around ruminating, you know, and it's time to break free from it's time. It is time to take your power back to stand up here and grab the sword of truth. Um, align with your truth and take action. Clarify the king of cups with the five of swords. It could all be somebody in your energy that is, um, you know, having a, a hard time here with change because five represents change. Clarify the, I think I saw every single angel number today. We have the hanged man. Yeah. So this, this is a perspective shift here. Okay. Uh, this king possibly in the past sacrificed something important to him, you know, because, um, they were in this energy of five of swords energy here of, yeah, sacrifice. There's the queen of cups. There you are again. Um, or this king of cups could be dealing with the queen of cups. That's a, a past life soulmate here with the lover's card. There's been a, there's been a wait here, a pause. The hanged man is a card of waiting some in suspension at a pause. Okay. Um, until we get this ace of swords, until we get this breakthrough, until we get this clarity here, until we change our minds, right? Change our perception. Uh, the way that we see things, uh, it, so, like I said earlier, like I said earlier in the beginning, we perceive things as we are sometimes not as what it is, right? So it's like the hanged man is a card of going through an awakening and enlightenment. It's a card of shifting your perception and perspective, changing your mind regarding something that's, uh, that is, uh, true to somebody's heart here and emotions. It's aligning with your emotions, connecting with your emotions. The hanged man is Pisces energy. We have water, water, right? So, um, water represents emotions. It's like seeing something for exactly as it is seeing a situation from a different perspective. And until this, this awakening happens, the, this King of cups here, you or somebody in your energy is going to be in suspension on a timeout is what I like to say. Right, because the, they were in seeing, they were seeing things through the eyes of the five of swords, which is the ego in the past or up until now. And, and it looks to me like, uh, with the king of cups showing up here, this is emotional intelligence and emotional balance and emotional maturity, right? Somebody that is connected with their emotions and feeling allowing themselves to feel their emotions here. Okay. There is going to be a new beginning here. Look, five of swords. Again, somebody got stabbed in the back. Uh, well, in this, in this, in this picture. So there is a brand new beginning here. Ace of cups with a, with the divine counterpart and a soulmate after a period of waiting. Seven of seven of pentacles represents divine timing, patience and planning and waiting for, for the seeds you planted to come to fruition here. Okay. But yeah, make a decision. There's a decision that needs to be made here with the lover's card regarding, uh, coming into union with your divine counterpart. Here's the queen of cups and the ace of cups, a brand new beginning in love here that your intuition with the full moon energy is guiding you towards, um, the need, the communication needs to be had here with the ace of swords. Um, yeah, but there is obstacles and challenges in the way of this new beginning. And what is this, right? It could be the lack of opening your heart and making a decision. It's in your hands, basically. Um, Ace of Swords, justice, needing to make a decision. Here's the scales of justice again. Somebody is making a decision, either you or somebody in your uh, life, okay? We have here... 
are you cho are you choosing to prioritize yourself or or another in this situation except divine guiding pointing you towards your joy you deserve it so um the archangel michael is saying it's time to make a decision with the justice card here this is about a contract Okay, whatever contract you're waiting on, whether it's legal or otherwise, that's going to be in your favor. You're about to get the clarity and the truth and you're about to get your answers soon. Um, but this really is about detaching yourself, breaking free from any kind of karmic contracts as well. Justice is doing the right thing. Okay, if you feel you weren't fair in the past uh, towards towards uh, someone here, um, where did I see that? Stop judging yourself here, right? Justice. If you feel that things weren't unfair in the past, it's time to make things right. It's time to um, cur cur uh, balance out the scales of justice. Balance out the scales here so that you can start your new beginning, whether that's forgive by forgiving yourself or asking for forgiveness from another. So you can start your new beginning here, Scorpio, okay? Yeah, it's time to make a decision. That's crossroads energy for far too long. This is a card of meditation and going within. See the moon, see all this water. It's all about intuition here. Trusting your intuition, okay? Something has been on hold or been blocked. This is a card of avoidance. Emotional avoidance or try or or avoiding some kind which which I talked about how toxic that is. And then I had um Somebody that got triggered um, pulled some kind of negative. I don't even know what the hell they were talking about. Um, uh, it didn't make any sense. But I ended up deleting, not the not the post, um, not the, not but because I don't want to attract the negative energy. I'm trying to protect my energy from negativity, and I just don't even I don't even want it there uh, for my the community that you know our community to read any negativity. So I just. Um, took it down, took it down. And, um, because for that reason alone, because I'm just pr really in, in protective energy here, trying to protect the community and protecting my energy from, um, from, from entities, right? From entities that are just dark and negative and, um, operating from a very low vibrational energy. I, d I don't want that around me. So if I could avoid it, you know, I, I, I remove whatever it is that um, is is attracting these these entities in at this time. So um, anyway, so that could be a message for you, you know, to uh, to protect your energy, protect your energy from negative entities at this time. That could be in your environment, in your surrounding, you know, um, again, right. We have here the five, the five of swords energy here. That's negative energy. That could be in your environment. Or that could just be a cleansing that's needing to take place. I just did an empath cleansing guided meditation after that the entity came 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 about on my on one of my on one of the things I posted. I did an I did a protection and a cleansing guided meditation. Um, to cleanse my energy and to return energies that's not mine back to sender with love. Right. So we have here. Um, it's time to make a decision. It looks to me like the Ace of Swords is you know what to do. You have the wisdom um, within you, the inner knowing. You know exactly what to do here, okay? And it's just time to to <laughs> surrender to your intuition, follow your intuition, and take action. Yeah, there's a lot of stress, a lot of overthinking. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Eight of Swords and the Nine of, nine of Swords. This is like a, a living nightmare, trapped in fear, haunted, a lot of anxiety regarding this decision here. When, you know, you already know what to do. You're, you're divinely guided. This is a divinely guided decision to open up your heart here, right? It's almost over. Open your heart and make a decision. It's very, it's really that simple. You could be making a situation more complicated than it needs to be. As a matter of fact, I am going to pull from, uh, it's time. That's what I'm hearing. It's time to make a decision. This, whatever it is that's almost over for you, it's going to end when you make this decision, it looks like. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, it's looking like you will get the clarity that you're needing here. The The path is open. The way the, the, the obstacles are being removed here with the, these Aces following the cards of obstacles. Clarify the Five of Wands. So it, the, the struggle here is the patience, right? It's like the reason why it's becoming, it's feeling 
it's feeling it's becoming harder and the pressure is becoming stronger and stronger and stronger is because you're not following your intuition okay we're talking about this is a card of patience and planning it's ready as you can see it's blooming and blossoming and growing right but there is still this uh this inner this inner battle this this power struggle this push and pull here on on what to do confused what to do what do i do here right and um and the reason why you, you're having a hard time with this patient it's with this patient and it's becoming louder and louder is because the time is now to make a decision here okay um again this is over this five of swords this ten of swords this pain the suffering here and what you have waiting for you is your ten of cups okay this is your happily ever after fairy tales do exist um ground your energy here try to get out of your thoughts if you can um meditating helps me a lot <laughs> you know this is like uh, you're not trapped you're not defeated you're not trapped you're not uh, stuck in any way. These are limiting thoughts, limiting beliefs, fearful thoughts that's coming up right now for you to look at. Whatever trigger that this is, whatever fear is coming up for you, whatever anxiety or pressure is because you're meant to sit with it and look at it, okay, and face it, Scorpio. Uh, it's time to look at this. Ace of Swords. Once you do go within, Two of Swords. Once you do go within, you're going to get the Ace of Swords, which is the clarity, the epiphany, the breakthrough, the aha moment that you're needing seek counsel if you need help um, you can schedule something with me or anyone else that that you find online to help you or a spiritual counselor spiritual teacher energy healer and advisor or just call in your uh, pray or call in your angels and surrender to them and and look out for the sign um, you're gonna get uh, the help that's gonna send, be sent to you is gonna be through people could be strangers could be a message in a song could be a message uh, um, in a movie it could be angel numbers lots of them could be um, feathers coins uh, message on a billboard on license plate uh, or a pop-up on your timeline could be a lot of different things here okay but it's looking to me like um there was some drama here that went down in the past that you that that you ruminating over and over again six of, six six of, we have here the six of cups um that needs to be released and let go of the time is now and this new moon solar eclipse is helping you with this um that's over that's the past this is when we were thinking too much about the past and thinking too much about the future and we're not in the present moment okay if we're not in the present moment we we're struggling to listen to our intuition if we're not grounded we're not focused when we're focused right that's when we uh, create our in creation energy focused intention right we can set our intentions and 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 take that step towards it and we can also when we're in meditation and silence our into we can listen to our intuition better our intuition is a lot stronger i get a lot of messages when i'm in, in when i'm in meditation whatever this was that happened here in the past whether you're the one that stabbed somebody in the back or somebody else that stabbed you in the back you're rising this is a card of rebirth there's the rainbow you're rising from the ashes as the phoenix it's time to heal now from this situation and so that you can start fresh here in your life ace of wands is the phoenix rising so this 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 inner war that you're having here with yourself here it really is about you listening to your intuition and actually taking action on it and following it your intuition is guiding you but i can see that you might be having a hard time uh deciphering what is your intuition and what isn't with the two of swords because you're not grounded right now you have a lot of a lot of uh anxiety going on and and these thoughts here scorpio are um keeping you stuck in procrastination and stagnancy analysis paralysis um there's just too much going on in your head space that's why spirit said get out of your head and feel the fire and passion in your belly it is trying to guide you we have the emperor here the divine masculine aries energy taurus as well and scorpio for me because of mars um the emperor is talking about it's time for you to take the leadership uh, role in this situation it's time for you to take action and take control of your situation fire energy mars action passion drive ambition determination motivation okay so um i was going to clarify the ace of wands but um 
the emperor jumped out. So yeah, take action here. There's too much procrastination and lack of faith that's taking place right now. That's why spirit is asking you to surrender to prayer. Okay. The seven of cups is procrastination, trying to make a decision. The, the higher font is needing to have more faith here in this situation. Clarify the ace of wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Scorpio for the new moon, solar eclipse in Scorpio. Yeah, there is that communication, that fast incoming communication here. Okay, Knight of Swords. This is the action. The commu so this is a decision here to follow your passion. To the the Ace of Wands is is fire. Fire is solar plexus. The solar plexus is your gut, is your intuition. I think it's your second brain, second or third brain. So. Um, your intuition is guiding you to take action. Your intuition is saying, yes, I just heard my, my heart's telling me just do it, right? And, um, and, and when you do take action, let's see. Spirit, what's going to happen here when Scorpio makes this decision and takes action and follows their intuition? What's going to happen? Wow, judgment. Judgment. You're going to have your new beginning here, okay? Wow, look at that. When you leave and you walk away and you take action here, here's the Ace of Swords. Here's the Queen of Pentacles here. You're going to have a new beginning here, okay? We have here the Seven of Swords, which is we're no longer hiding. We're no longer in denial. We're no longer running, okay? We're no longer uh, lurking in, in the shadows here with the Seven of Swords, right? This, is, uh, this right here is a second chance, judgment, which we saw somewhere. Where do we see it? Right here, judgment. 20 opportunity this card judgment in this deck says opportunity here okay you're gonna have your uh uh grab the opportunity here okay when you stop with this uh self-deception energy and 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 lying to yourself or possibly others or this could be somebody in your energy right you're gonna have a second chance judgment is a card of decision you're gonna have a second chance this is a card of resurrection rebirth awakening and second chance okay so there's a second chance here waiting for you when you take when you leave detach yourself from whatever emotionally doesn't fulfill you anymore and um three of wands right take action towards your new beginning ace of swords for some of you guys you are communicating wanting to communicate with the queen of pentacles here okay and that's the intention that you have to come out of this challenging time you've been resilient long enough and start this new beginning here okay and break free very nice um so yeah a, a very strong energy here uh let's see i am gonna pull from the romance angels of course but before that i want to see if there's a message from spirit for you scorpio but you're at the end you're at the finish line i did see the nine of wands we have here the nine of swords we have here the ten of swords you're definitely at the end of this very painful cycle you're at the end of feeling stuck here in hanged man mode all we need to do is you know pisces and scorpio energy with the king of cups is 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 action it's time to take action on your intuition to make the change so you're no longer feeling like this. Follow whatever feels good to you. Remember in the intro, we talked about what this new moon, where, it, where did I put it? I think I threw it out. I wrote it down because I did my research. Purge. The five of swords, the five of wands, the eight of, the eight of swords, the nine, the nine of swords here, ten of swords. Um, lots of swords for a water sign too much in your head here okay sword represents mental space purge to make a space for the new do what you need what i'm sorry what do you need to let go of here so you can feel good so you can feel more in your element feel more like yourself here okay so there is a huge change that's being set in motion for you right now involving could be your home family properly real estate or a connection with someone important to you okay so um all right for some of you guys this could be a decision to move <sighs> thinking too much waiting too much spirit uh what guidance do you have for scorpio for that this new moon solar eclipse is bringing in allow the Flame of love. Ooh, we allow the infinite power of love within you to radiate unconditionally in all directions. Yet stand tall in your sense of self and in your own truth. The healing power of love will help you burn through all illusion 
and you will discover new possibilities. This is a powerful time of transformation, ideas, and creativity. It's exactly what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing emotional transformation, emotional breakthrough. Wow, that's so crazy because Aquarius got the same message in the last reading I did for this exact new moon and uh, new moon solar eclipse in Scorpio. Emotional transformation, release, freedom. It is safe for you to express how you feel. Let it all out. Relationships deepen as a result. Exactly. Somebody wants to talk about how they feel to somebody. And they have been resisting this, procrastinating it, putting it off, you know, um, fighting it, not knowing how, just really making a situation more complicated than it needs to be. Um, give me one more spirit for Scorpio Collective. Forgiveness. Time to heal old wounds. Time to let go and forgive. Do not allow yourself to be a victim any longer. For in doing so, you only hurt yourself. Forgive and set yourself free. You are eternally loved, accepted. And I'm sorry. You're eternally loved. Accept the love being offered and allow it to heal you. Yeah, somebody wants to love you. You want to love somebody. Forgive the past. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Allow the love in. Open your heart. Okay, to, re to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love, the highest vibrational of all. This, holding on to whatever this is, Ten of Swords, whatever happened in the past, the past is gone. I'm sure you learned your lesson from it. That's why you're closing it out. This is a cycle of a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot of betrayal, and a lot of lessons. This is a karmic cycle. And once we learn these lessons, it closes out and it never repeats itself again. There's a rainbow coming right? You got to allow it to happen. You got to allow yourself to, you know, um, it's time to fight for yourself here. Stand up for what you believe is right. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for this new beginning and don't back down. Okay. Emperor energy. We have alchemy transmuting the energy, right? Calling in the violet flame. Anything else for the Scorpio? Magic. And your vibration is rising magic magic blessings transformation a blessing in disguise is coming your way keep an open heart open your heart and open mind scorpio we also have someone you love dreaming of you someone you love will appear in your dreams they reflect a part of you a time of remembrance a time of reflection and healing you get a lot of messages in your dreams as well and your vibration is rising at this time your vibration uh, your vibration is being raised to a higher level. You may be feeling that you are in this world, but somehow not, not of this world. This is the magic of creation at work in your life. As silver starlights enter your aura, your energy field is strengthened, giving you a clear connection to spirit and revealing the greater purpose of your life. All right, uh, Scorpio, let me get you a message from the archangels and um, I'll pull romance angels as well. I will be doing your, your, you know, uh, birthday reading as well, Scorpio season reading, so look out for it, okay? And um, if you guys are dealing with an Aquarius, I've been getting a lot of requests to continue on with the series. Uh, there's a lot of uh, mirroring energies here. Uh, like I said, Aquarius also got that emotional freedom card, talking about expressing how you feel to somebody. So, you know, look at this, beloved one. Archangel Samuel, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate connection. You're getting a lot of help from the angels. You just have to open yourself up to receive it. Let me read that again. Call in Archangel Samuel. Archangel Samuel helps you to find what's been lost. Um, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate connection. Very nice. What else here, Spirit for Scorpios? Creative writing. Uh, so journal. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen, an article, or a book. So some of you guys are writers. That's Archangel Gabriel. Um, Archangel G Gabriel is your throat chakra angel. It helps you with your creative expression. You might want to write down um, your thoughts or write a letter to this person you want to talk to or... Um, However, way get release those emotions, okay? Right now you're you're very creative, okay? Because you are in your creative energy here as the King of Cups. We have outdoors. I did say that it is time to go outside to ground your energy, okay? Go outside and get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. And then we have chakra clearing here. 
It is time to do a, a rebalancing, a reset, a clearing of your chakras. I have a meditation linked in the description box below, the little arrow. It's by Pure Rasa. She has a complete chakra reset. It's a little bit over an hour long. She covers all of the chakras. Do that. Or you can connect with Brian Scott on YouTube or Meditative Mind and work on your each individual chakra, okay? Root chakra I'm seeing, heart chakra I'm seeing, sacral as well. Yes. Okay. Thank you, angels. All right. Um, let me pull from the romance angels. All right, spirit. Love. Love message here for Scorpio. So big changes right now, Scorpio. And I think it's going to bleed into next month as, uh, are we? Yeah, we're still in October. Um, happy birthday, by the way, if you guys already had a birthday this month. Um, to my October Scorpios. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Also, Scorpio, um, big changes also still taking place with the full moon, the lunar eclipse in Taurus. So be very flexible and adaptable. Nothing is yet set in stone. I am still going to pull from the moonology. I'm trying to give you a lot of guidance here, Scorpios, okay? Forgiving and learning from, from whatever deception and unrequited love and codependency you've experienced here in the past, okay? Addictions, codependencies, unrequited love, deception, wearing a mask. Forgive yourself. As you reveal and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Absolutely. Uh, we did see that forgiveness. Uh, that's twice now. Where is it? Jesus here. Connect with Master Jesus. Call him in. Help, he can help you with this forgiveness, okay? Uh, work that you're doing. Again, you can listen to Sandra Rolis, the whole Pono Pono prayer. I linked that on the community board. I love that meditation. I still listen to it. We have true love that just flipped over. Um, this is a romance of a lifetime. True love never dies. You can't mess up what's, what's, what's meant for you, Scorpio, okay? You can't mess that up. I'm going to actually post that on Instagram. So thank you for reminding me to do that. What's meant for you is going to be for you. True love never dies. If this is what this fear is, if you're the one that that, that did this uh, damage here to a beautiful true love divine connection that you're wanting forgiveness for, just know that you are already forgiven, uh, Scorpio, and understand that what's for you is going to be for you and it won't pass you by and true love never dies okay no matter the distance the time the space that you're apart um forgive yourself we can't really forgive others until we truly forgive ourselves so if you have somebody in your past that that uh, really hurt you and cre and created blocks and 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 a lot of damage right to a point where you struggle to open up your heart again to somebody else and you, it, it you bled onto somebody else from whatever happened to you forgive that person let that person go that person was just meant to teach you a lesson they were a karmic they weren't meant to be in your life okay um yeah it wasn't true love whoever that is that did that to you and you are aligning with your true love right now. Okay. So, but first we got to release the past as you release and heal the past, you experience more love. You are calling your soulmate in. And this is the thing about law of attraction and about intention and prayer and manifestations and visualization. You can call them in all day long, but if you don't take action, when you're guided to per your intuition to uh, claim your manifestation, it's not going to come in for you. Okay. It's not just going to land on your lap, fall, you know, you're manifesting, you're calling this person in. So it's it's important that you make the effort, okay, um, for you to claim this new love here that you're calling in, okay, that is true love, but you got to heal and release the past to open your heart up to this. What else? Clarify true love here. Love yourself first. It won't happen until you love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Then we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Clarify forgiving and learning. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy. So spirit is saying to be playful, be lighthearted. Once you do forgive, uh, you know, the, your heart is as light as a feather. Light as a feather here to make a decision. I did see the feather here. When you forgive, 
you're lighthearted and you're able to extend your lighthearted energy when your heart is heavy, weighed down by a lot of stuff, right? From the past here, it's hard for you to be playful. It's hard for you to be playful and lighthearted. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I did say to make the effort, didn't I? Great love is worth you taking the steps you're guided to take. Your intuition is guiding you. What else here for Scorpio regarding this love? The new moon, solar eclipse in Scorpio. What else? Wedding. Wow. We have let your friends help you. That could be your angels or like I said, seek counsel from, uh, you know, spiritual counseling or therapy or however way that is. You know who to ask for help. Okay, you know, you know who to trust, who to go to, who actually wants you to win, who isn't, um, who's somebody that's awakened, who isn't jealous or envious of this true love that you have. Um, this could lead to the to a wedding here. Okay, it looks to me like you, you, you have met the romantic partner you seek. You have met the one, and this situation involves marriage, and it looks like somebody messed up here. Messed up with the true love situation. Messed up. So needs to have a come out of separation here. Needs to have a heart to heart conversation. Um, somebody here um, found the person that they want to marry, and they they kind of uh, sabotaged it. The Five of Swords is a card of self sabotage as well. There, the I saw the Five of Swords twice here. Ten of Swords twice. Okay. Um, and it was sabotaged in the past, um, because one or the other or both was not ready for this. And now it's like, there's been a, a realization, Ace of Swords, right? Of, of whatever this true love is, this connection is. And now somebody wants to come in and communicate the emperor. Someone's ready now for marriage, ready for commitment. Okay. Or will be ready if you're not there yet. Wants to come in here and, um, and and claim this person that they want to be with, okay? So, it's on the table here for you. If this is what you're manifesting, hold your vision, hold that intention, okay? That, um, hold your vision and hold your intention. Take aim so you can make your mark here, Okay. For others of you guys, what's ending here, for a group of you guys, what's ending here is a marriage because you, you decided that you, you know, you're choosing yourself, that you're loving yourself first, you're pro you're, you are prioritizing yourself because that makes you more, you, you're taking better care of yourself and of your needs here. You understand that what, wherever you are, that you're closing out is not true love and you really want that deep, deep, true love, soulmate connection. Please watch the... The solar eclipse new moon reading that I did for the collective because I did talk about um, what else this new moon is is bringing in. Okay, I, I already got rid of it, I think. Um, but if you haven't watched it, and what and, and it's connected to Venus, so it really is about you know wanting that deep to bond really deeply here with somebody. Okay, looks to me like you have already found this person for some of you guys. For others of you guys, whenever you do close out this cycle here, if you're getting a divorce with somebody, I do see the justice card here. Whenever you do close this out, you will come across your true love, but you do have to forgive and learn. From this situation so it can close out so you can't attract in your true love some of you guys still have not let go of something from the past there's still anger there you're still haunted by it we said because we haven't healed it we haven't gone within done any of the forgiveness work or meditation work to to release this okay you are at the end of a very tough cycle here it's oh it's almost over <laughs> spirit said hang in there and we have be bold. This is, I'm giving you guidance on what to do here, Scorpio, so that uh, the more you resist, the key to for, for a cycle to close out smoother, less bumpy, <laughs> it's not easy, I know, is by surrendering to it, okay? Surrendering to the changes. Um, the more we resist, the more in time out and hanged man mode we're going to be until we change our mind and we see the situation from a different perspective. Be bold and make the first move here. And don't let your past 
hold you back, step out of your comfort zone, show the world the real you, you have a new start that's waiting for you when you do. Aquarius energy here, we have North Node and South Node. Some of you guys are aligning with your North Node. Um, after you let go and release and cleanse out the South Node, which is your past, okay? Also past life. Once you do that, you can claim this new start, this new beginning. You can actually close out this cycle. Check out, um, go within and, 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 and check in and check out whatever cycle this is that you're on. It could be a cycle of, you know, healing that you're doing. It could be um saturn it just finished going direct it could be saturn um transitioning going from one side to the next here this as, as every cycle is different it could be a cycle of purging that you're in it could be a cycle of depression that you've been in that's getting ready to cut to be over it could be a cycle like i said a cycle of healing for me, how I would say this would be, I've been um, in solitude, I've been on my own for a while. I'm ready to close out that cycle of a, my solo's journey and join forces with somebody and come into union and share my life with somebody. So for me, that would be a cycle, right? But whatever cycle this is, it's tough. It's been tough and it's time to close it out, okay? Your hard work is paying off. Keep going. Release your fears, okay? All right, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I will, you know, see you guys real soon for the Scorpio season reading and for your birthday reading, which I plan on doing. I am plan on doing the birthday reading in November. But um, yeah, I, I do the readings as I'm guided to. Okay, my loves, and I hope that you take heed to these messages and, and definitely listen and follow your intuition here, okay? And, um, and, and claim this new beginning, this passionate new beginning, this true love, this happiness here, okay? I love you guys so much, and um, I will see you guys soon. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing, and for all of your donations, for your love and support. God bless you all so much. Mwah. Namaste. Much love.